Okay, so we just went over the 300 count method, and maybe we didn't emphasize this, but if you'll think about it, we have to have a very regular heartbeat. It has to occur once every second, once every second and a half, once every 0.73 seconds, but it has to be regular. You have to know when the next QRS is going to happen. What would you do if you face a rhythm like we have in front of us now? If you look at it, we've got four QRSs. We've got one here, 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 and here. The problem is if we look at this one from here to here, we are one, two, three, four, five big boxes apart. And if you look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven and a half big boxes. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half boxes. So which one are you going to count? How are you going to determine what the beats per minute are? Well, if we want to know what the beats per minute are, I guess we could just count for one minute. That would be an exact figure. But we usually don't have time to sit around and count for an entire minute. If we take a look at this strip, if we remember that these little ticks right here and here and here, these are one second apart, which would mean that we've got from here to here is one second, from right here to here is one second, there's one second, there's one second, there's one, and of course here is one. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We are looking at six seconds. In the six seconds we have one, two, three, four QRSs. So roughly speaking, if we were to sit around for 60 seconds, we would probably come up with 40 QRSs for a beats per minute of 40 beats per minute. This isn't exact. If you, if you wanted to be exact, you would have to count for the entire minute. But the fact is, if you were 44 one minute, you might be 38 the next minute and 52 the minute after that. So we get a, a basic feel for beats per minute, which will give us some indication of cardiac output if we'll just count for six seconds. So why don't we call this the six second method? And we'll use that anytime that our QRSs are coming off at irregular intervals.